Uh, hello, everyone. Today, I will talk about my topic, the construction and deconstruction of female body in China uh, by the technology change. I use a case study in the napkins. And there are four parts. The first one is the background. And the second one is the method I use. And the third one is my result. And the first one is my conclusion and some shortcomings uh, in my study. The first one, let's talk about it, the background. Uh, so you can say that uh, in Nepal and <clears throat> in Nepal, the developing country and the United States and the United Kingdom, they are the developed. Sorry, Sorry. Uh, we can we can uh, see your presentation. Okay, please wait a minute. Yes, I see. Can you see that? Can you please see continue. the okay. continue, please? Okay. Uh, so you can say that the Nepal, the developing country, and the United States and the United Kingdom, they are the developed country. The women in these countries all suffer from the audio of the menstruation. So because I have the high frequency of seeing the international news. So I have the interest to uh, research them. Um, uh, and my objects of the study, I want to find that the menstruation has never been just a female problem. It is a hidden misconception that society has avoided. So, but this time I use the uh, technology combined with the gender. So why I combine, I use the technology? Because I find that the technology has become more advanced in, now, uh, in nowadays and they are undoubtedly playing a more and more important role in our lives and have a more constructive impact on people's, uh, uh, on pe people's life. So the main, main idea I will talk about, about it is uh, divided into the three parts, uh, construction, deconstruction, and the reconstruction of the female body. The first part uh, on, uh, mostly talk about the benefits uh, the, the century napkins bring about. And the second part is mostly talk about the stigmatization and the stereotypes uh, women's Inf are influenced about uh, by the culture, and the third one is like the uh, government, the company. Uh, they do have done a lot of efforts to uh, redefine the menstruation. So let's talk about my research methods. Uh, I just use the oral history. I interviewed over ten women in my city, but I just choose the most representative ones uh, in my study. So since China has uh, reform and opening up in the 1980s, so I usually choose some of them uh, who born before this period and who born after this period. I want to understand the women's hygiene during this period, their experience from menstrual bills to the century napkins and their feelings about using the menstrual projects at work and school. And the third part is my results. Uh, the first one is uh, largely about the construction part. Uh, I want to tell you that the century napkins work as a technical project for the liberation of the female body. Uh, the first one is about the changing projects. Women's projects change from the menstrual belt to the present century napkins and tampons. The consequence is very uh, evident that it solves a women's a lot of health problems and it is more convenient and it costs a lower price so all the women can have the right uh, to buy them. So the second part is about the transition from the SOE to market. 
Uh, specifically, it means that the society changed from the planned economy to the market economy. The consequence is that a uh, women's wish uh, wash rooms disappears, which is just a specificity for some of the women and their companies. And the second one is that more women uh, just work from home into the workplace because, uh, because before some infrastructure and daily living expense were directly uh, under, uh, underwritten by the work unit. So we often see plays such as attached kindergartens, and attached communities. However, now the work unit has become just a place of work. So the people themselves uh, have to take on the expense of food themselves and clothing, housing, and some transportation. Uh, the third one is about the new culture symbol stigmatization. This is a problem. Uh, the consequence is that it brings women the physical and the mental stress. It uh, prevents women to uh, participate in some activities because of their stomach pain. And the mental stress is that they are mis uh, they are mis uh, read by some large companies that they don't think the women has a high ability uh, to address some difficult problems just like men. So the result too is about the disconstruction that the century napkins work as a technical project to re-embed the female into a new gaze. With a high independence on such projects, the culture rebuilt the new stereotypes and the stigmatization. So uh, some of the pe uh, women feel very embarrassed. They think it is a in its feeling when they are young. They just don't want to uh, put the sanitary napkins to, um, in public. They will use a small bag to hide them and uh, when they go to the bathroom. And some of them just think that it is a very normal thing. It is just a privacy, uh, their own self-preservation. Uh, but I think that the privacy Sometimes it means that we want to hide something that uh, we feel very uncomfortable. So that, that largely because the society is not very open, that people's conscience are not uh, very open to accept this change. So then the euphemism comes. Uh, the people will often use some other words to represent the century napkins like the aunt belt or that. And the people themselves will actually feel that it is a bad luck when they are impaired. Although the, although the, the use of sanitary napkins is very necessary for their use. And the second one is about the whole so, uh, social environment that the advertisement often want to promote the invisibility and the ability to prevent some accidents when they use the sanitary napkins. Um, when, when they introduced that, that, the blue ink was often used to show their absorbency rather than the actual color of blood. And as natural body fluids were considered too naked and too offensive. And this is my uh, third result. This is about the reconstruction part. The new cultural reconstruction of century napkins appeals, and I will divide it into the four parts. The first part is about the government. Uh, it is about the proposal about the design of the emoji period. You can see that in WeChat and uh, in WeChat chatting, uh, they just use a red blue dropper. And the second one is about the social organizations. Uh, China has the first museum of, museum of century napkins just to introduce the history of it and make pe more people to redefine the, uh, the, their con conception of the century napkins. And the third one is very interesting for me is that some humanitarian companies give one, two day off with paying for women who are not feeling very well uh, during the period. So I think it can largely boost their efficiency. 
because when women are not feel very well, they cannot do the good job um, to a large extent. And the first part is about uh, people themselves. They start to concern about this topic and they do a lot of um, effort in some activities or on, uh, just online. They write a lot of words to, uh, to let more people to know this. And the, third, the first one is my conclusion. I want to tell you that the technological projects are in, uh, in, inevitably influenced by the social environment. The social environment uh, just tears the technological projects from its original practical use to the present cultural symbol. This is means that uh, it changes from the objective scientific cognition to the cultural construction about, um, about by the general environment. And I think the, the reason, um, the reason uh, occurred by this is about that the social structures have not kept pace enough because of the whole envir uh, environment and the people's concepts. And my shortcomings, I think there are two. I don't mention too much about tan buns and liquid century napkins. Uh, they are the very famous um, in, the, uh, in these years. And the second part is that I don't judge the menstrual projects from a technological or medical, uh, uh, medical uh, perspective because this uh, inter this uh, this introspect is very also very important. But I think um, the first one is that uh, century napkins are the most popular, not only in the promotion, but also in the user's experience. So, and the second one is that I have the limited expertise in this field because uh, I'm just a student, so I cannot give a cautious argument. But uh, in the end, I want to hope something that the topic of century napkins will never be avoided and female bodies will never be labeled by traditional culture. Maybe uh, in a few days or few years, I will work for it and I will learn more about it with my, um, with my knowledge increased. And I want to let you know that this issue doesn't seem to involve many people, but it actually gives the audience a, a very impressive, uh, a very profound impression. And the in, in, inevitable use of the menstrual projects by this research is inextricably linked to everyone in this society. So all of, all of us uh, has to care about this topic because it's linked to our uh, because it's linked to us. So thanks for your listening.